Alright, let's talk to Morrison. Joy, wait! Huh? What? You can't just go and speak to a pop or blood. Let her alone. Him! Huh? Why not? Oof! <laughs> Oof. You are an alien, so you don't know, but just tr trust me, clowns are bad news. Yeah, I, I know, dude. Joey don't, but I know. <laughs> what kind of voice am I going to give this guy? Well, I guess I, I can hear you whispering over there. Mm, not good enough. <clears throat> hey, don't buy you. You know, bring it out in. Look, Shefros, it's totally fine. Hi, I'm Joey. You look interesting. What's your name? Interesting, huh? Hey, and here. Is that your girl's worst fan? I'm sorry, fans? Dang, do you not get slammed or get cold out in Rusty Bird? I have no idea who you are, sorry. Ha, ah, those sweaty. It's cool. This is a nice change of pace, actually. I'm on vacay. I love the adoring crowds and all. But sometimes you just need to get away from it. From from it all. You feel me? Are you supposed to be a celebrity or something? Hmm. You could say that. But I'm more than happy to be just some guy to you, Joey. Name's Marvus. <laughs> nice to meet you, Marvus. Are you going to Crideos party? Yeah, I got a gig coming up. Cool! Me and my friend Shefros here are going too. Maybe we'll see each other on the train. Oh, I'm sure of it. Okay, well, we're gonna get, go get tickets. Catch you later. Hmm. We shall talk to a bunch of trolls, but no tickets so far. Shefros, are you okay? You look a little. I will be in a minute. I'm just gonna rattle. What? Why? You just went and, and talked to a purple blood. Well, lucky we still have our heads. Yeah, but Marvus is chill. <clears throat> what are you talking about? Marvel seems like a perfectly nice guy. He's a clown. I... Yeah? Do you have some sort of prejudice against clown? I don't get it. Uh, there's no way for me to explain it to you. It's just... just they have this whole, um, culture. Culture? A culture of being a clown? Yeah. Yes! And they love to do murders and hurt people. They especially love to do big hurts and murders to people like me, huh? I really don't know what to say. Yeah. Pretty crazy. I'm sorry you have this, like, clown-based trauma that I seem to have inadvertently set off. <laughs> but it's not murdering anyone right now. And he seems totally fine based on the conversation we just had with him while nobody got murdered. So maybe we can relax a little about it. Ah, <sighs> never mind. Let's just move on. Okay, but we need to progress here. Pop! <laughs> yeah. Not. Uh, yeah! That's a crime. That's especially dangerous, so let's try to not do that. Look. It's kind of weird that a famous singer is traveling alone on a train. She don't she have a tow bus? No. Because she's not that. Famous and well, she's a low blood, so yeah. 
So how are we going to get tickets? Buyers! <laughs> Buyers is a solution <laughs> to everything. Oh, You've got no taste, dude. Maybe if I switch to Shifras. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe if I switch. Oh! That guy you were talking about earlier, Marvus? I just spoke to him a minute ago. Excuse me? What? You just spoke to Marvus Sholoto? Ah, uh, yeah? You just woke up to him and spoke to him? Yeah, it's not a very... It's not a hard... <laughs> Guy is so shocked. With your words? Yeah! Why is it such a big deal? It's just a clown. Oh no. Just a clown? It is so much more than that. Marvel is only the greatest slam poet of our generation. Multiple time slam or get called grand champion. Producer, writer, poet, artist. And you might think that his lyrics are pro regime. But oh no, 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 no. If you really think about it, read between the lines and connect the world to the weight of his juggle or heritage. You'll see him for what he really is. A radical revolutionary who could change a world of life forever. Through the power of vigorously rap world alone. Okay, I didn't get any of this. It makes sense, although it may technically occupy a position higher in the hemispectral than most when you re examine the power structure in playing on Alternia Clonda is of the most oppressed class of them all. Nah, not really. <laughs> I'd never dream of just inserting my lowly self, revoltingly privileged, as I am as an indigo blood, into his sight. I'd love to talk to him, just really get down to business, probing his thick pan so I can figure out how the genius happens. Get an autograph. Maybe even receive some of his verbal output on my own endeavors in slam poetry. Hmm, maybe we can help with that. But I would never be so presumptuous as to just go up and talk to him like that. These are protocols to observe. Respect to show. I thought you've seen. I'm asking you for. Help introducing her. I will never ask for that. Okay? So what? So don't. That's cool and all, but we're not making any progress here. Um, okay. I'm just gonna do some other stuff for a bit, okay? See you later. Hmm. Edward, maybe? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hi again! <coughs> Sorry. Hey! Change your mind? I know when a girl is playing hard to get. <laughs> oh! I actually do need something. Not drugs. <laughs> Oof! Oh, what can I do for you? We need tickets for the train. Ticket machine right over there. Anything else? Oh, that machine is broken. For real? You break it? Ah, oh, yes. Damn, guess we got a real little criminal on our hands. It was an accident. I just don't know how anything around here works. Hey. Guess you don't get out much. So, tickets. Check this out. How much? 
I gotta be real with you, girl. These tickets are fake. Oh. Don't make that face. I only offer quality, quality shop. An initial shell on my mages. Our stuff is top tier. I could give you both of them if you get me one real ticket. If those tickets are so good, then why don't you just use them yourself? Because if I use them, then you can't. You know, your losses will teach you not to look a gift. Give a fist in the mouth? No, I don't even know in human speech this <laughs> expression. <laughs> One real ticket for two high quality fakes. It's a good deal. Mm.